Unlock and open the case. Ground yourself before wiring begins. Insert an electrical conduit and fitting. Pull in wires from a 16.5 VAC transformer. Discard the 14-pin auxiliary terminal. On older 1830 models, gently bend down the two resistor networks left of the auxiliary terminals to create clearance for the baseboard. Align the baseboard to the terminal prongs. Firmly press the baseboard into place. Feed the straight end of the antenna wire from inside the cabinet. Attach the elbow end of the antenna wire to the baseboard. Attach the straight end of the antenna wire to the antenna. Use the 10-pin base station terminal you removed earlier. Wire the 16.5 VAC power supply as shown. Replace the wired 10-pin base station terminal onto the baseboard. Remove the 4-pin terminal from the bottom of the baseboard. Wire the blue and brown wires as shown. Attach the 4-pin terminal back to the baseboard. Connect the two wires to the main terminal relay tube. Plug in the 16.5 BAC converter to power up the baseboard. Also power up the baseboard and phone system at this time. Set the channel and network ID. Use a small flathead screwdriver to set desired ID on the bottom and channel on top. Confirm the paired switch is in the off position. Turn the RF range adjustment completely clockwise before linking. Locate the program button and press only once to start basic programming. Press the reset button only once to set basic programming. The board will blink and deliver a 99 until the wireless remote device is linked. To install the external access point, see our wireless remote device video.